Takashi Kotagawa was born on March 5, 1978 in Ichikawa, Chiba, Japan. He started trading stocks on the Tokyo Stock Exchange in the bear market of 2001. Despite being a multimillionaire, he stays humble. He doesn't buy fancy cars or eat lavish meals. He rides a bike and likes to eat ramen. One thing he did splurge on, a top floor apartment that he bought for 400 million yen, roughly $3.65 million at 2021 exchange rates. Takashi is also known in the Japanese trading community by his chatroom username BNF and he earned the nickname JCOM Man after one of his most famous trades. Takashi Kotagawa has been described as a hermit who turned his college part-time work savings, the yen equivalent of $13,000, into over $150 million in eight years. In the process, Takashi Kotagawa has become a cult figure among Japanese day traders, a tight circle of self-taught professionals who take pride in working in one of the world's most active markets. After FOMC's interest rate cut, Takashi Kotagawa sold all his stock holdings in financial sector stocks, etc., and he earned 400 million yen by the close of morning trading. He said to the announcer, I don't know the Japanese stock market's future. I don't look at the market from a long-term perspective. Early on, he held most positions for just seconds at a time, making hundreds of moves each day. Now that he has more money, there's no choice but to hold positions longer, because shifting such large sums in and out of the market influences prices. Toward the end of a slow day in early July, CIS emailed a screenshot of his brokerage account at SBI Holdings. It was a snapshot that looked pretty much like others he had shown in person over the course of the year. Unrealized gains on the day were in red, 200 million yen, 18 million dollars. The holdings, 254,000 shares of Toyota Motor Corp, 4.2 million shares of Nomura Holdings Incorporated, and 6 million shares of Mitsubishi UFG Financial Group Incorporated, among a dozen other positions. It was a 13.2 billion yen portfolio financed with 4.4 billion yen in cash that would probably all be liquidated within days. One thing CIS would not sell was a 100 share stake in Yoshinoya Holdings Co., operator of a fast food chain beloved by cash strapped college kids. It's a little keepsake, he explained as he speed walked to a mahjong parlor in Tokyo's Roppongi district, where he has a regular 3 pm game with trader buddies. The Japanese market has been buoyed by Prime Minister Shinzo Abe, the Bank of Japan flooding the market with cash via an asset buying program, so all that liquidity sloshing around in the market has made it very profitable to be a Japanese day trader. The man who made the market for SoftBank that winter morning was sitting in pajamas in a bedroom cluttered with manga. He was leaning into the glare of four computer screens and munching a carrot, something to calm his stomach. Betting on rebounds was dangerous, but he had watched SoftBank lose a fifth of its value over nine days, and a drop in US markets overnight had driven the shares even lower. The odds were tilting further in favor of a bounce by his reckoning. He decided to pull the trigger, rat a tat tatting the orders in. 90 minutes later, he cashed out with a profit of 140.6 million yen, $12.7 million. Then it was on to the next trade for the former video game champion and pachinko gambler who goes by the name CIS. The 35 year old day trader says he made 6 billion yen after taxes, betting on Japanese stocks last year. During a decade of day trading, having started more or less from scratch, CIS has amassed a fortune that he now says exceeds 16 billion yen. In the process, he has become a cult figure among Japanese day traders, a tight circle of self-taught professionals who take pride in working in one of the world's toughest markets. CIS has been the subject of much chatter and speculation. A Wikipedia page attempts to track his investment results, only a handful of his peers know his real name, and no one has watched him work. CIS did not offer a complete accounting of his investing returns and his wealth for this story, and some of his claims cannot be verified. There aren't a lot of specific details about Takashi Kotegawa's trading strategies. He doesn't share every trade publicly or share much information at all about how he made his millions. Some describe Takashi Kotegawa's trading strategy as divergence day trading. He uses indicators like Bollinger Bands, Relative Strength Index RSI, Volume Ratio, and the 25-day Moving Average. He likes to buy stocks that are at least 20% below the 25-day Moving Average and profit from the bounce. But he doesn't treat all stocks the same. Since the markets constantly change, he adapts the percentage he looks for based on the overall market and individual sectors. He gets a feel for how stocks in different sectors move and how fast they rebound. Like all day traders, he likes to capitalize on the momentum. 
His tax returns showed he traded 1.7 trillion yen worth of Japanese equities in 2013, about half of 1% of the value of all the share transactions done by individuals on the Tokyo Stock Exchange. On his busiest day, he says he bought and sold 70 billion yen worth of stocks. CIS pronounced SIS means death in classical Japanese. The nickname is a holdover from his gaming days when he used to crush foes in virtual wrestling rings and online fantasy worlds. Games taught me to think fast and stay calm, he said over tea at Tokyo's Hotel Grand Palace a few days after the SoftBank trade. Real thin, with a shaggy mop of hair, he showed up in a grey sweater, jeans and sneakers. No one would have taken him for a multimillionaire. CIS wants people to know what he has accomplished. He just doesn't want them to know who he is. Even after six sit-down interviews over many months, CIS asked not to be named for the story. Married with three kids, he says he's worried about being targeted for robbery or extortion. Last year was a very good year to be a Japanese day trader. Pushed by Prime Minister Shinzo Abe, the Bank of Japan flooded the market with cash via an asset buying program. Takeshi Kotagawa's style is mainly swing trading, although many believe him to be a day trader. He uses technical analysis to determine the lowest point to enter a position. He's the bottom fisher. Takashi Kotagawa also looks to buy oversold assets with the aim of profiting from an upward trend change in its price. His diet is modified to a trading environment. For example, he prefers to take in light food, hence a daily cup noodle, because he wants to keep lunchtime short and feel prepared for the midday 12.30 p.m. session. On that particular day, he had a turnover of 10 billion yen, 85 million dollars, and a profit of 30 million yen, 255,000 dollars. I don't know the Japanese stock market's future, I don't look at the market from a long-term perspective," said Kotagawa in an interview. But Takashi Kotagawa tends to hold his short-term trading positions for two to six days. Sometimes they last longer than a week, so his trading style would be best described as a swing trader. Takeshi Kotagawa also doesn't like to put all his eggs in one basket. He likes to diversify his investments. For example, recently he piled some of his trading profits into tangible assets such as property. He doesn't feel the need to spend money but prefers to watch TV and play video games. Recently, he bought two Wii's which were the largest recent expenditures. He paid for his own apartment in cash and bought his parents a new car. But he doesn't like to look at his savings because he believes it distracts him from his trading. In October 2008, he bought an entire office building in the center of Akihabara for 9 billion yen, 77 million dollars. He cuts losses quickly, doesn't focus on money, and looks for patterns that repeat and that have worked for him in the past. He even likes to buy stocks when they're down and profit from the bounce, but the major difference is, he trades with a massive account and takes huge position sizes. That and the lack of details about his strategy makes it hard for new traders to learn from or replicate. So we may never know the details of how this famous trader made his millions. But he's a trader, not a teacher. This was all for today. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit the bell icon for more updates and notifications. Stay safe and we'll be back soon with another video.